Within the shell feature is the option to use the multi-thickness settings to set certain faces with an alternate thickness. If we go into the shell feature and first choose the faces to remove, we'll choose the top and the bottom. Then we can select into the multi-thickness settings box and set a separate thickness. In this case, I'm going to set this to a quarter of an inch and select the two side faces there. Then we'll go ahead and shell the part. And I'll go ahead and activate a section view. And in this case, we'll choose the front plane. And we'll take a look at the result of the shelling operation. If you look at the sides here, you can see the transition there and the multi-thickness setting. Now the multi-thickness settings themselves work better for sharper transitions. To demonstrate what I mean, I'll go back into the shell feature and we're going to go ahead and actually turn off the section view first and then select out these four faces as well for the multi-thickness settings. And I'll go ahead and try to shell that. And we see that this shelling operation fails. So I'll go ahead and exit back out. As I stated before, for smoother transitions or for more natural transitions, like the transition in this tangent curve here. The multi-thickness setting doesn't work as well. Here we have more sharp transitions and thus the multi-thickness setting works. So just keep that in mind for the multi-thickness setting. If you have a shell feature that fails, you may need to work with different transitions between separate features within your part.